What's up, Wildlings? Colin Stuckert here, founder and CEO of Wild Foods Co. and the AncestralMind.com. I'm here for another video. I had this very short video idea. It's something that I do every year. I've talked about this every year, and it's a really good practice that I think we should all do. I just kind of fell into it. It's not, you know, it's something that maybe you could schedule every year. I think back on what it was like last year. I think back on you know six months, eight months maybe a year, maybe a year and a half. It's not an exact timeline, but I basically think, where was I at about one year ago? And then where am I at today? How did I think one year ago? And how do I think today? What progress have I made in one year? Mentally, financially, physically, have I declined in some ways? And for the most part, this is more of a mindset thing, but every year of my life, I've read more books, I've read more articles, I've invested more time into my personal development, I've invested more into thinking about things and solving problems and doing all the business stuff I do, and every single year without fail since I was probably 21, I think to myself, wow, you thought you had it all figured out. You didn't know shit. And I do that every year of my life. I think everybody should do that because that means you're growing, you're developing. If you think the same that you thought a year ago, in our world with the rapidly evolving amount of information and the growth and all and, and just the the exponential knowledge that we're growing as a as a species or you know worldwide if you're thinking the same you were a year ago you need to do some major self introspection and reflection because i just don't think anybody should be thinking that way i think everybody should be growing generally for organisms if you aren't growing you're declining you're either going up or you're going down with the mind no matter how frail your body would ever get, your mind can constantly grow. And they've proven the mind is like a muscle. The older you get, you only decline if you stop using your brain. And so that's why a lot of research has shown that to prevent things like Alzheimer's and memory loss and things like that is you know doing puzzle games. But also they've proven that you have to do new and different things. You can't just do the same things. Like if you're really good at Sudo crossword or Sudoku or however you say it, and that's all you did, well, that's not gonna challenge you mentally. But if you learn new games as, as, as a general rule, if you're challenging your brain to think in different ways, maybe learn a new skill, maybe try something new, maybe go to new places, these are things that constantly challenge your mind and create different neural connections that level you up so that every year that you look back on your life, you can say, wow, I thought I was so smart and I didn't know anything. And now look at where I am today. And then ideally, since you're on this upward tra trajectory, you would think that every year of your life. So th the call to action today is to just think about what it was like. The last time, picture where you were. Maybe it was a year ago, maybe it was two, maybe it was five, whatever it is, picture that. And think to yourself, what, how do I think today? How do I act today? How do I speak today? What's my life like today compared to them? And then realize that everything in your life, then and now, is based on here, right? Everything flows from this. It all goes back. And now, see what you come up with. Drop some comments below. I'd, I'd like to hear that. And if you've been stagnating, if you've been stuck, if you've been struggling, well, this is just one more piece to the self-awareness puzzle that you can use to tilt your mean up. We all have this mean, this average that we float through, right? And I did a whole video on this, uh, regression to the mean, check it out. And we are, are statistically likely to stay to whatever our average is. Now, those that are interested in growth and personal development, they usually have an upward slope like this, right? And even though we kind of wax and wane, and like this line is our average, we still go up and down above it. Sometimes we're doing better, sometimes we're doing worse, but we still kind of maintain an average. As long as we're going up, we're still going up, right? It's those people that have it like this. No matter where they are, they tend to be going down. And that is a very dangerous proposition because as with anything like compound interest, compound time, things that go down, they, they snowball, they build, they build, they build, build, build. And as it's going down, and you're, and you're, and you're getting, becoming worse off or you're becoming fatter, sick or whatever, it snowballs and big, gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And then eventually, before it's too late, you wanna make a change, but then it's a little bit too late to do that or you're really, really behind. And I don't wanna get stuck too down into a tangent. This is supposed to be a short video. So think about it. Where were you a year ago, two years ago? How did you think then? What were you doing? And what are you doing today? Have you made progress? Are you making progress? All very important questions to ask yourself, to think about, to talk about with other people. Talk about with your accountability partner. Talk about with your, your spouse. Talk, talk about your relationship and what your relationship is like. Is your relationship going like this? Was it better then and now it's gone down? A lot of things to think about. 
I hope this video is useful. Please like and comment. Make sure you subscribe. There's gonna be a lot more content coming out relating to health and fitness and nutrition and lifestyle and building the ancestral mind so you can understand where you came from to best live today and then pass along that legacy, that knowledge to your children, to the future generation, so that we can basically save the human species because on the path we are at as a society, we are very downward sloping. And it's in that snowball of sickness and disrepair is getting bigger and bigger and bigger every passing year. So we need to do something to reverse it. My name is Colin Stuckard. I approve this message.